Welcome back to CBS Detroit. There's plenty of festivals returning to Metro Detroit this weekend, and one of those is the 18th annual Corvette Fest. To tell us about that is great. We also have Steven and Rody. They're from oh, Parker oh, Leader Dogs. Look at that. Does. You know, Greg, it's hard to be upstaged by a dog, oh. isn't it? Well, <laughs> Rody, yeah, dogs and Corvettes, I mean, they're synonymous they're with GMC Corvette set. That's right. We've, like been, we've been sponsoring, or we've been a, they've been our uh, lead charity for the past 47 years. Uh, we've, we've donated over $300,000 to Leader Dog. Amazing. Primarily through Corvette Fest. We also do some cars and coffee events. And uh, it's it's just been a it's been a great journey. What a partnership! Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the fest, a little more. It's at it's at Canterbury Village out in Lake Orion. Okay. Uh, it's very unique. Uh, most car shows are in parking lots. Yeah. Ours, all the cars are scattered through Canterbury Village. So you've you've got all, you've got shade, you've got places to eat. Already There's a, lot a beautiful of, setting, yes. and then oh, you add the Corvettes. Oh, and it's just it's Ooh. over the top. It's over the top. Incredible. So do you have anything new this year? Do you add anything to it each year? Um, we, we've we added a couple new raffle. We added a new raffle last year. Um, wheelbarrow of cheer and uh, like a wine and dine thing, which <laughs> was nice. extremely successful. So we're doing that again this year. Uh, we have a silent auction tent. We, we have, Ooh. I believe, over 200 items. A lot of them are Corvette related, but a lot of them are also gift certificates to restaurants. Uh, we've got some uh, golf certificates that people can bid on. Uh, so it's it, there's a lot for everybody, yeah, men, sure women, is. Corvettes, non-Corvettes. <laughs> I was just about to ask you. You said a lot for everybody. Are, are some people bringing out the kiddos to this? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. This is an extremely family-friendly yeah. uh, thing. I, I, I mean, because Canterbury Village. I mean, you can walk through it. There's a lot of different shops. And uh, hey, we got to get kids started early on Corvettes. All right. So absolutely bring kids. I'm looking at uh, oh, Rody, and Rody looks like uh, maybe a nap's in order, an early morning. <laughs> oh uh, Stephen, tell us a little bit about Rody and how if people want to get involved in the program, how they can. Absolutely. So leaderdog.org, uh, that is the main location for all information. We're, we're, we're looking for puppy raisers, breeding host homes. That's our biggest uh, need right now. So uh, Rody is uh, eight weeks. He's ready, waiting for that uh, uh, family to pick him up and uh, lead him on the next 12 months of his journey. That is incredible. And they can't. And you said Rody's a temporary name, right? Correct. Yeah. So as a uh, volunteer puppy raiser, you get the opportunity to name the dog. So they could keep Rody or change it to whatever they want. Rody's so cute. I love Rody. It's very See? appropriate for what we're talking so about. Cute. He's following the Corvettes around. You a Rody right? buddy? He's oh. got the hiccups right now. Oh, the hiccups. Oh, oh, cute. Oh, cute. Oh, um, okay, uh, so where can people go if they want to get involved in Corvette Fest? Do they go to the website? Can you get website, tickets at the G door? GMC Corvettes at uh, Advanced Reservation or, is already okay. closed. We closed that last night. But you can register at the show. Okay. okay. Uh, as of yesterday, I believe we had 102 pre-registered cars which mm. is a all-time record for us last it year. Is. We only okay. had 69. That's awesome. We had 114 total. So if we, if the ratio is the same, it's going to be, we could have 130, 140 Corvettes mm -hmm. there. Favorite model? Can you divulge it or are you uh, just Corvette My favorite model, over? well, I have a C6. Okay. So, but uh, they're all great. You know, everybody has their own, you know, you, you get the C1s and they're, they're old. They're the beginning, you know, they're, Hopefully you can make it to wherever you're going. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but you know the, the C8 is a gorgeous car. What do you think about the new ones with the, how they totally redid them? Oh, it's. I mean, it, it looks. It's sleek. It took it took a while for me to I get bet. used to them because from you know from the beginning I don't know to if that means through the, likes C, the new models C7, or does it? <laughs> you knew a Corvette coming down the road just by looking at it. Yeah. Okay. C8s came out. Okay, is that a Corvette? Is that a McLaren? Is that a Ferrari? Until you pick out the little nuances. But now that they've been out for four years, it's very easy to pick them out. Somebody needs a snack or something, Stephen. I don't know what's going on. Taking everything in the me to keep my are butt gone. in this chair. So, that's right. Brody's getting excited about Corvette Fest. So he should is. you. That he is. is awesome. We will have puppies out there. A couple puppy raisers. Uh, we'll have some ambassador dogs, retired leader dogs. Uh, so come on out and see us. It's, it's a great time. It will be it a great is. time. Aww. Stephen, Greg, thanks a lot for dropping by this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you both really so much. appreciate that. Let's take a quick break here on CBS News at 9. We're back with more arts, beats, and eats information after the break.